Hey what's happening guys this is Shukesh and today I will be doing a speed test in between these two mid range devices. On my right hand side I have the all new Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. It's priced at 18,000 rupees and on my left I have the Motorola Moto G5 Plus priced at 17,000 rupees though there is a discount going on it's now at 16,000 rupees. Before I start the speed test, I want to quickly show you the Android versions. You have Android 7.0 on both these phones and since there are two versions of Moto G5 Plus, I want to show you that the version I have with me is of 32GB storage that is 4GB RAM. So you have exactly the same amount of storage and RAM on both these phones. At the end of this video, I will also check the RAM management. On benchmarks, Moto G5 Plus outshines the Galaxy J7 Max, but I want to mention here, once I got 48,000 on the J7 Max, I don't know why the score is fluctuating so much. Moto G5 Plus comes with premium Snapdragon 625 with a 2GHz octa-core processor, whereas you have slightly inferior Helio P20 MediaTek processor, uh, it's 2.4GHz octa-core. Though the screen sizes are different, the resolution is same. So let's see what happens in this speed test. Let's check whether this new J7 Max is any better than Moto G5 Plus. One thing worth mentioning, Moto G5 Plus runs on raw version of Android whereas you have highly customized Samsung skin on the J7 Max. So let's get started with the speed test and the first thing I want to do is a boot test. Definitely Moto G5 Plus is taking much longer time than this J7 Max for shutting down. So let's wait. There you go. Now let's turn on the phones. J7 Max is ready and Moto G5 Plus is still booting so definitely in the boot test G5 Plus is the loser, J7 Max is the winner. Well both phones are ready so let's check some system apps then I will check the third party apps and games. Let's try the dialer first. Definitely Moto G5 Plus is the winner. The next app I want to check is the messaging app. Once again G5 Plus is the winner, despite having so many messages, the Motorola smartphone is crazy fast. Next we have the camera and this time J7 Max is quicker. Let's try again with the rear cameras and now Moto G5 Plus is faster. Next app I am gonna check is the gallery. The Google Photos app is already slow but still it's faster than the Samsung gallery application you have on the J7 Max. So looks like Moto G5 Plus is winning. Let's quickly check some other applications before we come to the conclusion. We have YouTube loading and once again the Motorola device is the winner. Let's check the Play Store. Moto G5 Plus is beating the J7 Max black and blue I will say. We have the Facebook app installed as well. Well, J7 Max has loaded the page and Moto G5 Plus is actually still loading. I also want to check Flipkart and Amazon. Once again J7 Max is loading and Moto G5 Plus is actually far behind. This time also I think J7 Max loaded the page quicker than the Moto G5 Plus. Let's quickly check these Photoshop applications before we check the games. Photoshop fixes loading and once again Moto G5 Plus is quicker. Next we have Photoshop Mix. G5 Plus is quicker as usual. Here we have Lightroom. As expected the Motorola smartphone is beating the J7 Max. Lastly, I also want to check the Photoshop Express. G5 Plus is quicker. Let's also try these three apps. J7 Max now loaded this quicker. Next we have the CNET app. This time the Motorola Moto G5 Plus is faster than J7 Max. Once again G5 Plus is quicker. 
So in this speed test, so far I will say this Motorola smartphone beats the new Samsung mid-range. This G5 Plus is crazy fast, it's been almost 3 months I have this phone and it's still extremely snappy. It's now time for the game so let's see whether the Helio P20 processor can actually keep up with the Snapdragon 625. As I expected, Moto G5 Plus loaded the game much before the J7 Max. Next game I want to check is Temple Run 2 before I run the hardcore games. As usual, G5 Plus is ready and J7 Max is still loading. Now let's try Modern Combat 5. G5 Plus is ready and well J7 Max has also loaded the game. This Motorola mid-range also loaded Brothers in Arms 3 before J7 Max as usual. As you can see guys, Asphalt Extreme is also quicker on the G5 Plus. As before, Asphalt 8 has loaded on the Motorola smartphone and J7 Max is still loading. So definitely in this gaming speed test, this Motorola Moto G5 Plus is the sheer winner, Galaxy J7 Max is not even close, though J7 Max doesn't feel that slow on the interface but the Motorola smartphone is crazy fast thanks to the Snapdragon 625 SoC and the stock user interface. Now it's time for the RAM management test, since both have the same amount of RAM 4GB, let's check which phone has the most amount of apps in the memory. Well both phones reloaded the dialer so none of these still has this application in the RAM. Next we have the gallery application and it's also reloading. I have loaded so many applications so it's actually quite normal, there is nothing to worry. There we have the Lightroom app and this time we have this app still in the RAM. It looks like YouTube is reloading on both phones. Well looks like the RAM management of these two phones are not as good as premium phones like Galaxy S8 though S8 feature the same amount of RAM that is 4GB. Let's now quickly check the games and this time as you can see J7 Max has this game in the RAM and Moto G5 Plus is reloading. This game Subway Surfers it's a loss of RAM so looks like a J7 Max offers better RAM management than this Motorola smartphone. Let's try a few more games we have Temple Run to here and once again J7 Max has it in the RAM. Moto G5 Plus doesn't so in the RAM management I will say the Samsung mid-range is the winner. Let's check some big games like Modern Combat 5 and once again J7 Max is the winner. So if you are playing a game and you pause it, open other applications like the browser, WhatsApp, Facebook etc and go back to the game there is a good chance on the Motorola smartphone you will lose your gaming progress. Now since more apps in the RAM means more battery drainage, surprisingly J7 Max offers really great battery performance, in fact it's somewhat better than the Moto G5 Plus. Lastly I also want to do a fingerprint scanner speed test, though it's a push button it also works even when the screen is off unlike most of the Samsung devices, that is you won't have to push the key. On the Moto G5 Plus also it's just touch sensitive. I also want to mention that the face recognition unlocking of J7 Max is disabled and as you can see Moto G5 Plus is actually marginally faster. Let's switch hands to make this test fair. Once again G5 Plus is the winner. Guys we are at the end of this video and beyond doubt the Motorola Moto G5 Plus is a crazy fast device though J7 Max offers really good specs. In fact the gaming performance of this phone is almost as good as the Moto G5 Plus. The user interface is not as smooth as this Motorola mid-range. But despite having the same amount of RAM, the Samsung smartphone could handle some really big games in its memory so kudos to Samsung for this amazing RAM management. That's all in this video guys, thanks a lot for watching, a speed test versus Redmi Note 4 is also on the way so stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch, this is Shukesh signing off, have a nice day.